वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ड इन गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवन एग्जाम इट्स एक्चुअली अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन देर आस्किंग अबाउट नंबर ऑफ क्लॉक साइकिल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज इंस्ट्रक्शन आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ एंड देव ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन द फोर स्टेजेस ऑफ पाइपलाइन Let's have a look at the statement. Consider a pipeline processor with following four stages: instruction fetch, decode and operand fetch, execute, write back. If I F I D W B stages take one clock cycle each to complete the operation, the number of clock cycles for the E X stage depends on instruction. the add and sub instructions need one clock cycle and the multiply instruction needs three clock cycles in execute stage operand forwarding is used in pipeline processor what is the number of clocks taken to complete the following sequence of instructions then you can see the sequence there are actually only three instructions and then just also have a look at the four options given in the question so what they are saying is if you use operand forwarding to execute this code on a pipeline processor with these four stages how many clock cycles are required so first of all let's analyze the dependencies this is r2 and this is also r2 so here we have a dependency that to specifically of r a w type okay similarly this is r4 and this is r4 so here also we have a dependency so there are in total two dependencies in the given code what do you mean by a dependency let's consider this pair instruction number 2 is writing a value into r4 and instruction number 3 is reading that same value now if somehow this instruction reads the value before this instruction has written there will be some problem we don't want such problems that's why we need to consider the dependencies and also implement some kind of solution operand forwarding is one of the proposed solutions okay now let's just try to see how many cycles are required they are saying for plus and minus kind of operations execute stage needs only one clock cycle but for multiplication the execute stage needs three clock cycle okay so first of all let's see this first instruction it is a addition instruction so execute is going to require only one clock cycle so we have executed the first instruction completely let's now consider the second instruction now you see if we don't consider operand forwarding then only after this point the correct value of register r2 will be written into the register okay that means if you don't consider operand forwarding then id will have to be placed here okay but because we are considering operand forwarding you can just place id here ex here and then wb okay three executes followed by a write back three execute stages because this one is a multiply instruction now let's see how is operand being forwarded this is the stage where the operand is ready okay this execute stage in this stage the operand is ready i2 in uh, sorry i1 instruction this one has calculated the operand that means r1 plus r0 this arithmetic operation is performed in execute stage that means we are having this value r2 
सो दिस वैल्यू इज डायरेक्टली फॉरवर्डेड टू इंस्ट्रक्शन आई टूज एग्जीक्यूट स्टेज नाउ सम ऑफ यू माइट गेट कंफ्यूज लाइक हाउ डू वी नो फ्रॉम विच स्टेज टू विच स्टेज द ऑपरेंट इज फॉरवर्डेड लाइक हाउ डू आई नो इट इज फ्रॉम एग्जीक्यूट टू एग्जीक्यूट जस्ट कंसिडर द बेस्ट पॉसिबल सनेरियो इफ नथिंग इज मैंशनड नाउ दे हैव जस्ट सेड ऑपरेंट फॉरवर्डिंग इज यूज then you just consider best scenario that means execute to execute means try to avoid as many as stall cycles as possible and by the way this id phase id is for decode plus sopran fetch they have given it in the question now this id will also fetch some operands this value R2 will be fetched by ID, but that would be the wrong value because only after WB the correct value is updated into R2. But hardware will overwrite that value. Okay, whatever uh, ID has fetched will be overwritten with the value that we get from execute stage only. Actually, what is happening is IF. id and then we have ex so there's some music playing on i think i'll have to just cut the video okay let's see this is id and then this is execute the next one is wb forwarding from execute to execute means we are doing this okay we have only one hardware for execute it is being used by different instructions at different times anyways now let's move ahead the third instruction this is i1 i2 i3 third instruction uses the value produced by second instruction this one is consumer this one is producer okay now here we are going to fetch if then id then we need to stall for two cycles because this value r4 is only available after i2 has completed its execution that means at this point okay so from here we'll forward the operand to execute stage of the next instruction <clears throat> like this so exec after completing the three cycles of execute stage i2 has calculated this value r4 and at that very moment of time here we forward it to the next instructions execute then we are left with only write back stage okay so this is the entire diagram let's see how many clock cycles are required in total it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so your answer is 8 now we have a shortcut also to solve such questions you just neglect all the dependencies okay just for time being neglect all the dependencies and see how many clock cycles are required this is a four stage pipeline that means first instruction is going to use four stages sorry four cycles then remaining n minus 1 instructions that means remaining two instructions is going to take one one clock cycle each okay that means 1 into 2 so this is 6 that means had there been no dependencies if we neglect these dependencies in that case six clock cycles are required okay and actually using operand forwarding this is happening na using operand forwarding forwarding you can say the effect of these dependencies have been nullified okay now only remaining thing is these execute cycles okay that means we need to consider that the instruction i2 is using more than one execute cycles and there's only one such instruction this that is i2 how many extra cycles are, is it using anyways all the instructions have to have one execute cycle it is having three how many are extra 
that's true this is your answer just add the extra cycles why did i neglected these dependencies because using over operand forwarding we have kind of avoided all the stalls so you can just consider it to be a diagram of such a program where there are no dependencies that is only possible with the help of operand forwarding okay so there is very loud music playing so i think it might create some disturbances anyways i'll record the hindi version now if you are a native hindi speaker i'll recommend you watch the videos in hindi itself